Oh no, it was an earthquake little kitty. Are you okay? I understand. That's why it's essential to know about the steps one needs to take during an earthquake. Hey friends, so in today's episode, let us have a look at this natural disaster we call an earthquake and answer a literally life-saving question. How to survive an earthquake? Zoom in! So, what is an earthquake? Well, we have already covered the details in our previous video. So, I'll request you to please check the same. The link is in the description below. In simple words, earthquakes are nothing but the shaking, rolling or sudden shock of the earth's surface. But what's scary about them is that they can occur at any place at any time. Yes, it is estimated that there are 500,000 detectable earthquakes in the world each year. Out of these, nearly 100,000 of them can be felt and around 100 of them cause damage. And because of earthquakes, this destructive and unpredictable nature it is crucial to be aware of safety measures one must take before, during and after the earthquake. And to be safe from this disaster, the first thing you must do is always listen to the radio and television for the latest information and instructions for your area. Once you hear the news that needs everyone's attention, Immediately discuss the disaster plan with your family and friends. Yes, for that, you all must plan and decide on a particular meeting spot if you get separated. Then arrange a supply kit that includes enough food and water for several days. First aid medicines, a flashlight, a fire extinguisher and a whistle. Plus, make sure to secure heavy items in your homes like air conditioners, refrigerators, televisions and objects that hang on walls. And try to put heavy and delicate things on low shelves or the floor. But remember my friends, in most cases, earthquake warnings will give only limited time to prepare. And often it will hit even without any warning. So in case you are at home and find yourself caught between the trembling ground, make sure not to panic, try to stay calm and in the first few seconds after the shaking starts, try to quickly move away from anything that could fall and injure you. Then immediately implement a safety method called a drop, cover and hold on. Yes, during such an emergency, drop where you are onto your hands and knees. Then cover your head and neck with one arm and hand or better, if a sturdy table or desk is nearby, crawl underneath it for shelter. Once you've found a cover, hold on with one hand and be ready to move with it if it moves and stay in there till the shaking stops. And for those of you who are unable to drop to the ground and get up again without assistance, make sure to bend forward, cover your head with your arms and hold on to your neck with both hands. And if you're in bed, hold on and stay there, protecting your head with a pillow. And once the trembling stops, check for injuries and inspect your home for damage. And if possible, help those in need. But do expect some aftershocks. And each time you feel one, remember to drop, cover and hold on. Trivia time! Did you know 
The largest recorded earthquake in the world was a magnitude of 9.5 moment magnitude in Chile on May 22, 1960. While the largest recorded earthquake in the United States was a magnitude of 9.2 that struck Alaska on March 28, 1964. Hope you learned something today. And do not forget to share these safety tips with your loved ones. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind.